Nathan, security. It's pretty important. Very important. You need it. I need it. Maybe a little less for you. I mean, you're kind of a big guy. But we're going to be looking at five unique robots that could protect you and save your life from an intruder. Number one, attack dog. This guy looks pretty scary. I mean, imagine if you saw this. If it was a bit bigger, I'd be more. I mean, at, if it's nighttime, it's dark out, you just see this charging towards you, I'd be concerned. Maybe a little less now. I think we have to turn it on. Yeah, there we go. So, if someone was breaking into a house at night and they started hearing these noises, I'd be a little cautious if I was at Burger. I'd be like, what is that? What is that? Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, yeah. It's pretty loud. Like, I don't even know what it is. Ooh. Is that like speed mode? It's not half bad. Like when we were testing it for our first time, it was pretty fast. Now we are on a small table, so we don't really want it here. I'll catch it. I'll catch it. Go backwards. It's pretty fast. Especially at nighttime where everything just looks faster than what it is. What are you doing? If you saw this at night coming towards you and it was like maybe three times as big. And it has the blue eyes. Like these eyes are illuminated. Especially at night. When, if like this is at. all you can see, it's just the blue eyes. And like a that noise, I'd be pretty scared. I feel like that could help you. It is a bit small. So unless you're like whipping it at the guy, <laughs> it's not really going to be at eye level. So they'll know it's small, but I, I feel like it could help. All right, so the first item, not the greatest. We're actually gonna start looking into security items. This one was kind of a joke. All right, my turn to go again. This is the Q robot. Now this one does teach you how to code and stuff like that, but it also acts as a security camera that you can use. And it also alerts you whenever there's something walking in front of it. So this one, you need an app to use it. Yep. It Ooh, is look, look at downloadable it. on both the App Store and what the Google Play up? Store. Hey there. It'd be kind of scary if you heard that. Someone's just like breaking your house. They think it's quiet. What is oh? It looks it looks strange. If you saw this, and it started moving around on someone's counter while you're trying to break into the house. Ooh, there it is. That is my Q robot. I called it Zest. Like to take slow. Okay, chill. Keeping one eye open. Sometimes Ooh. closed, but mainly open. Okay. Trying to kill a Q robot. This thing was 300 bucks. There's not a camera on it, right? There should be. Ooh. Oh, how'd you worry there? I'm a pro drop. Okay. It's pretty good, like, reactability. And it's fast. Let's like, you turn the speed up to 100. Okay. I don't trust your drive. Okay. I really don't trust your driving, Nathan. Oh, it has the tag. Okay, this thing's actually pretty jokes. Okay. I mean, that was pretty cool. I, I, I actually kind of like that. Explore. Hey, uh, what's over there? Now, it does have sensors, so it shouldn't fall off the table, fingers crossed. It should not fall off the table. I have a feeling it's going to fall off the table. But if, oh. My luck's about to run. Okay, yeah. it falls off the table. Hey, is everything okay? But if you just have this thing roaming around your house at night, and someone were to break in and just see this roaming around, I'm sure they'd be like, oh shoot, they're videotaping me. I better not yeah. try anything. I better leave. It's one of those things where if you don't know what it is, it's pretty scary. Anyways, Nathan, do you think this would save you? It's better than in a very, very few situations it would save me. I think it's more of a, like a safety deterrent than something that will actually protect you. Yeah, so if someone's like looking in the window, thinking about breaking in, they see this, we, we. This one looks a bit more Ooh, lively. Back online. Next up, we have something that looks like a little tank and it has a camera on it. If you put it into another room, you can see what's going on there. Yeah, so this is the Riley robot. It actually has a camera in it and it is used for security camera purposes. Now, we, we kind of left ours uncharged and we lost, we lost the dock, but there is an app. This one actually does alert you every time there's something that comes in front of the camera. It shows you the camera, and we did test the camera before. It's not as potato as some other ones. This one isn't to intimidate other people. It's more just for surveillance on your part. It's also not very call. stealthy. Stealthy. No, its motors are loud. Yeah. You're gonna hear that walking around. But the one good thing about it is it has a camera on it, and that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So it can be in another room recording what you wanna see. Link it by if you wanna see the original video of it, where we actually test it. 
But no, we like this one. It's pretty good for a security camera. All right, next up is a brand new thing. It is called a spy tank. Whoa. It's actually a spy tank. So it's in a box. We haven't checked it out yet. It's called the Rover 2 spy tank. And this thing looks and feels heavy. Ooh. All right, so it's got this antenna you need to plug in. <clears throat> this looks pretty scary. It does require a lot of so batteries. It looks like you got a big jet pack on the back. Live video will appear on your dis device's screen. Oh, here we go. How do we connect to those? Is there a special procedure? All right, connected. Woo! All right, access my microphone. Oh, okay. That's good. Ooh. Oh, so it's one of those things we have to push both for. That's pretty cool, actually. It's not too bad. Can it take photos and stuff too, or no? Video. There, now it's recording. How do we, I want it to move. So we can move the camera up. Ooh. Nathan, where'd you go? Nathan, this is pretty functional, actually. That's not yeah. bad. That's pretty good. Intruder, who are you? Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey there. Wait, can we? Video complete. Let's take another video. What are you doing in my house? Can I zoom in? Uh, it's loud, but it's not that loud that it's that'd be really noticeable. It's pretty easy to drive. Looks like it's pretty fun to drive. It's not bad. It looks pretty cool. I don't know how much it would protect you because you have to do all the controlling. Yeah. And I don't know what the range is on Ooh. it. You could be, someone could be in your house. You're like, is that my dad? Or is it a burglar? You send this thing out. Hey, Wait. son. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Although it's kind of, it feels kind of like, feels a little cheap. It's quick. Yeah. And it's pretty easy to drive. Okay. And last but not least, we have something that can definitely defend you against a robber. No joke. So if you watched our previous video, if you haven't, you gotta watch it. Link down in the description on our unboxing of Ooh. this guy, the Mebo 2.0. This thing has a bunch of functionality along with its camera. I think it already, uh, All right, so we have tested this Mebo before in the past. If you guys haven't seen the video, like Nathan said, check it out. Unfortunately, our Mebo right now is dead. We, we may have left it on without using it and that drained the battery. But I think that you guys should really check out that video because there was a big spill in that video. This full. Ooh, ooh. Is a something wrong with the big thing of coffee spilled all over the table? It's Nathan's idea. So no. you can pick up a bunch of things. Yep. With Not this. only with security camera. So if you have your keys on your countertop, a thief is coming to steal them, move them. I'll probably bring more attention to it. It's actually a pretty good robot. Yeah, I enjoyed this one. I did. The camera was kind of like the last one that we just looked at on the spy tank. It was kind of laggy, but for the price that you pay for these kind of robots, within the hundred to three hundred dollar range, the, you're not expecting too much from the camera. So the fact that it has a camera, I think, is a positive. Yeah. I mean, it, all jokes aside, if someone's breaking into your house and you are in threat, nine one one is your first option. Second option, you send out a robot. I'm just kidding, don't do that, just hide. You're better off just hiding. Get a big bat. Get a, Yeah, actually, we have a bunch of bats in our house. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments below which one you think will probably protect you the most. Yeah, we'd love to hear that. I mean, I don't know, which one would you pick, Nathan? You could only choose one to save your life. Which one would you do? I feel like this one. Would you? Because it's super fast, you could probably like trip the robber and at the same time get a recording of his face to show yep. the cops. What about and you? I'd probably choose this. <laughs> Just whip it at them. <laughs> probably your best chance is chucking one of these robots at them. But yeah, probably this one. This, one. this one's actually pretty good. It's pretty quick. And it has a decent camera. Mm -hmm. Anyways, subscribe if you're new. This was Juicy. See you next time.